Thank you, and I'll now invite Kara Westerland from Brazeau County to speak to your candidacy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. If anyone ever doubts rural Albertans' commitment to our communities and to protecting our way of life, they only need to spend time here to learn what we're all about. So as I express my gratitude for this opportunity to address you, and as I ask for your support to be your president of this great association, let me begin by thanking all of you for what you do in your communities. Over this term, we've accomplished great things as an association for our communities, for our families, for our friends, and for our colleagues. But our greatest work lies ahead, and there's much more to be done. Our rural communities are up against some of the toughest odds we continue to suffer deep funding cuts, the threat of the assessment model review, facing impossible decisions about critical infrastructure maintenance as we work through our latest municipal budgets. Our communities are being put at greater risk with each passing season by natural disasters, and access to health care is suffering. As your president, I will help guide the hard work that needs to be done to address these serious challenges. My commitment to you is that I'm here to get the job done and we can't afford to lose momentum. What our communities need from this association is dependable, stable, experienced leadership and that's what I have to offer. Many have asked why I've decided to run for this position and why I believe I stand out. I truly believe it's my values. I value integrity and I value dedication. I've been lucky to be surrounded by so many people who share these values and I offer them back in return. The last seven years as your Vice President, I have a track record of responsible, honest and transparent leadership, collaboration and for driving results. I have lived and worked in Alberta my entire life and I believe I share these values with everyone in this room. These values are what make rural Albertans unique and such a strong and integral part of this province. I've made a point of sitting down with many of you to hear your stories and concerns. One of those concerns is the funding shortfalls for critical infrastructure projects and possible changes to be, that are being proposed in the MOS, uh, asset model review. I won't mince words. Shortcomings in key infrastructure funding is choking the throat of rural Alberta and delaying economic growth, coupled with the uncertainty of the AMR process. I'm committed to ensuring RMA is leading the fight for more funding for these essential projects and for making sure that the assessment model review is fair for all Albertans. The devastation from natural disasters grows with each passing season. Wildfires, droughts and floods are more common and more destructive, causing costly losses in our communities. We need to continue to pressure the province and federal government to prompt action as these disasters unfold as well as push for obtainable mitigation plans. I'm committed to powerful advocacy on our response to natural disasters to ensure rural Alberta communities are strong, resilient and safe. Another top priority is improving access to health care. We are all seeing the trend of provincial responsibilities pushing down to the municipal level. We're struggling with the attraction and retention of doctors, nurses and other health professionals. The result is temporary closures of our ERs, waiting weeks to see a family physician, if you can even see one at all. Like many of you in this room, I've had my own health scare, but my diagnosis has strengthened my commitment to advocate for better health services in rural Alberta. As your president, I will continue to advocate for solutions that improve access to vital health care services in our communities. While I've highlighted a few of our challenges, I know there are many more, including the mature asset strategy, unpaid oil and gas taxes, ICF negotiations, police funding models, centralization of victim services, and more that all need our attention. I am going to close with my thanks to all of you once again for your time, your support, and your confidence. I know I said integrity and dedication were what I wanted people to know about me, but I'm going to add one more. By using my values to focus on our challenges, I hope you'll all see that I'm motivated to find solutions. There is great work to be done. Big challenges create those big opportunities. I share your beliefs in the strengths of our communities. I share your vision, hopes and dreams for your communities. I'm excited to be a part of the solutions as we 
find those solutions for safe, healthy, sustainable, and resilient rural Alberta for generations to come. I humbly ask for your support to be your next president. Thank you.